in your power principles, you talk about facing your fears. And what I wrote next to this, because it comes out of a great story that you tell about, I wrote it down in this way, overcome those bridges that hold you back. Right? So I kind of let you know where I'm going with that one. So talk about facing those fears. I don't, I don't know of any, any human being on the planet that doesn't have fear. It's just part of, it's part of human nature, it's human behavior. Oftentimes, if, if, if we'll just take a moment and think, okay, how, do, how, do, how does my body react? How does my mental capacity act when I am consumed with fear? We go into paralysis, we go into chaos, we don't make decisions. If we, if we can muster up enough courage to make a decision, uh, it's probably a bad one. Um, there are so many things out there that create fear, and a lot of it is, is fantasy within our own brains. The, the, the people that I lean on to for my research and my information tell me the average human being, 90% of their fears are fantasy. Fantasy. And, you know, they're still real for, real for the person there. So my, my encouragement and, and what I do is when I'm working with this piece is first thing we got to do is determine is it, is it a real fear or is it is a fantasy? If it's a real actual fear, then we got to do something about it. Uh, and it, I would rather go through a fear than live consumed by a fear. And oftentimes if those things are, if we take the, the right approaches and we look at it and make that analysis, is it real, is it fantasy? do something about it and go through it, life just gets better. We're not consumed by it. We don't have time in this interview right now to talk about crossing the bridge that he does. You've got to go see him, you've got to listen to him, you've got to find out about what he does about crossing that bridge. That's really a story for you.